So class three machine guns are cool. We all know that. And some firearm manufacturers have the license to have stuff like this beautiful M60 here. But what good is it really for folks like you and I who are buying the semi-auto stuff? That's what we're gonna talk about next on GB Guns. So I'm out here with Double Star, one of those manufacturers that does class three stuff, not just for law enforcement, military contract type use, but also stuff that benefits folks like you and me who are your average semi-auto shooters. And to demonstrate that, we've got two of their more popular brakes, the bullseye brake on a 308 here and the big timber on a 556. Because while some of us shoot fast, most of us can't shoot fast for very long. So machine gun is the best way to see how effective these brakes are. We're gonna run some bursts through it. You're gonna see it in full speed and in slow-mo. It's gonna show you just how move, much movement is or is not happening on the gun with these two brakes. Now one way to know if a muzzle brake is effective, of course, is to shoot it rapidly. Unfortunately, when you've got a manufacturer that also deals in class three items, you're able to run that brake at speeds that most of us will never shoot it and be able to see if it actually does you any good. there is the zero essentially but it's got the big timber brake on it one of double stars own designs and as you saw it there and you'll be seeing now in the slow motion don't let the exterior fool you that is a very effective brake and compensator so another example of one of double stars own brakes is the bullseye this is on the 3gr got it here on 308 with some even more gas looks like a simple three port design how effective is it let's see it in full auto So one way the company having machine guns helps is to test durability of stuff. This, as you can probably tell by the furniture, <laughs> is about 20 years old and it's had about 80,000 rounds through it. A little lube sprayed every once in a while, but as you can probably see, not been cleaned, running dry. Proof of concept for Double Star's internals and receivers. And it's got the giggle. Let's see how it runs suppressed running some steel case ammo. I'm going to burst some out there because that's how you're actually supposed to use a machine gun and then I'll run a string. No hiccups, ran smooth, locked open, mag drops free. I'd say double star internals have benefited from this test. So if it can control a machine gun, can it control your semi-auto? Yeah. That's uh, one of the perks that, uh, well, Double Star takes advantage of having that machine gun licensing to be able to develop things like these and make them available for folks like you and I and have them work and not just a style cue. I mean, this one does have some kind of cool lines if you've got the cloak handguard, but they, uh, they, they work. You saw the muzzle not moving, test it on a machine gun. If it controls that, it's gonna control your rifle Double Star says their guns are built for victory and having spent some time out here with them, I can confirm that is true. Thanks for watching. So just in case some of you were curious about seeing what a gun looks like after so many rounds and years of no cleaning and just being lubed, we're gonna split this thing open. Sorry about the shadows, but I want to show you this carrier is textured <laughs> not with not with any coating other than carbon and this has been running a lot suppressed gas rings getting a little tired but they're still running there let me pop the upper off the lower that pin is tight and give you a look side there. Isn't that tasty? I bet that's making a lot of people cringe. But it's still running. One more tasty bit of delicious dirtiness. <laughs> Look at the carbon build up 
back here. Now keep in mind, it's only residual gases that end up flowing back down in there. This thing has seen some rounds.